Hey, how you doing? I um, thought I'd do this video a little different than I usually do. I usually show the build and then show the instrument at the end and do a little playing of it. But this time I figured I'd show the completed instrument first and then talk about it and then maybe um, maybe show parts of the build after. Um, so anyway, this start started with a uh, antique steamer trunk or at least parts of it. Um, at the end of the video I want to leave some um, information of what I know about the trunk from two shipping labels that were on this and if anybody has access to um, like a database like Ancestry or something and if you have some time that you could help me maybe research it I, I didn't, wasn't able to find anything about this person so I'll, at the end of the video I'll show that <coughs> um, Actually, this thing is kind of a longer scale. This is like a 30 inch scale, so it's kind of um, hard to get the whole instrument into the, into the picture. But um, let me do a little playing demo of it first. Well, as you can see, I'm still figuring out how to play this type of instrument. Um, anyway, um, it's three strings, cigar box style, tuned G, D, G. And um, everything on here that you see is a found object or something that was given to me. Um, so, starting with the trunk. This was... Um, this was found in the garbage in my hometown, 19 miles from Atlantic City. So I'll show you a little clip here of what this looked like. Not when I first found it, but after when I started this build, when I had um, the piece that I had saved from the garbage and I cut off the really nasty part. Okay, so this is a, well, parts of a steamer trunk that I found in the garbage a few years ago. Um, most of it was rotted out like this. But I saved this part here. Um, as you can see, I cut it down. And um, it's at my garage here. That's the noises from the traffic. Um, but anyway, I saved this and put it up on the shelf, and I'm hoping to use it to build a guitar. If you can see, a lot of this wood is still, still looks pretty good. Some of it doesn't, but yeah, the majority was like this. But the reason why I saved it is because of this script on here that's hand painted. It looks really old, and it's really got some. I don't know, it's got a nice look to it. There are a few labels. Um, I also saved this part. So the idea is to cut cut along here to use this for a guitar. And I'll probably have to remove these. So I'm hoping I can steam these off and put them over. 
to cover that. This one here, there's parts of it. I don't know if I'll be able to get that stuff off, but I'll try. But anyway, I'll just cut this um, with the grinder, and then I'll show you what I, what parts I have left over that I can use. We'll see what it looks like inside. Yeah. So this was this was evidently in uh, probably in a wet basement because it was it was just totally rotted out. But luckily the side with the with the script on it was still pretty much intact although as you saw it was really really rotted, rotted and pull, the plywood was pulling apart. Um, so I cut all that off and was kept left with just this part. Um, so that's why I gave this kind of a long neck um, it's actually not that long, but I, in other words, the scale, the scale is long because I didn't, I wanted this to be here so that it didn't cover too much of the, um, name. So the tail piece, tail piece is from, this was from the clock that I took apart that I found in the garbage. This is the part that would hang inside the clock that had some brass chimes on it that would chime the hour and the you know, half hour and such. Um, the bridge was given to me by a local artist. It's actually a handle. He gave me a box full of handles. His name's Ron. Um, and the neck, the neck is leftover wood from a uh, kitchen remodel that I was helping demolish the old um, drywall and the trim and stuff. Um, so all that's like that. And then um, these are these are classical style tuners which would have went in sideways on a classical style guitar but they came from a charango. If you know what that is. If you don't look it up it's an interesting uh, little ukulele type instrument. Um, I found the Monopoly uh, game in the trash, so um, since this is Atlantic City themed and I was thinking around the 30s, I, I thought it would be okay to use Monopoly money. This is just put on with uh, Mod Podge. And then I saved some of these old illustrations from old books that were th thrown away and put those on the back. So the thing about this is really any kind of instrument that you want to make a guitar like this if you want to make it what it basically is is just one just a long piece of wood almost like you could consider like a 2x4 going through but it's not this this is like a 2x4 is what I bolted that piece to um, and use the hinge for the neck plate but you can see since this is an open back you can see what what goes into it. it's just you know just a chunk of wood I did put a little spring there, and um, originally what I wanted to do is I thought I thought this thought of this as a hobo guitar that was assembled by a hobo with parts that he might find. That's why I made the safe fresh clams. I I would have rather found the sign, but sign that uh, was original. But I tried to make this as best I could. So I figured he might. Um, use cans that he found that were from old beans or soup or vegetables. So that's why I did that. But after I did that I realized they'd um, have a different purpose actually that I didn't realize that they had. So watch this clip. <laughs> so they are can be used as tip jars now apparently and also they really do resonate and they kind of kind of have a metallic metallic -y sound to them which is great that's why I like that that's what I had planned and um so, 
The only other thing that I, I have put a Craftsman badge on there that I got out of the junkyard. I put this gear, also from an old clock. And I put these gears on here because I like gears and there's a key. Um, but gears to me represent travel, time, all that goes with this, I think is appropriate with this guitar. So that's about it that I can think of. I mean, the thing is about a hundred years old, so I just think it's, I really am, I was really excited to build this and I'm glad to have it. Um, I probably would never sell it. Um, but take a look at the um, info that I'm going to put on here at the end. And if you can help, like I said, that would be great. I can't afford to pay you anything, but you have my gratitude if there is anybody that can help. But if there isn't, I think once the libraries open up again, because ours is closed, um, you can use Ancestry.com inside the library. So I'll do that if I can't get any other information. It's not important, I just thought it would be interesting to find out the history of this. Because there was a sticker on it that said Paris, London, and then there were two addresses. One was uh, New York and one was Atlantic City. So, thanks for watching. and. Check out the little build clips right now. So this piece here will be the heart of the guitar. This will be inside the um, the, the uh, steamer trunk, or at least what's left of it. Um, it's a big old nasty looking chunk of wood. Um, I just gave it a 45 cut. It's gonna be you know rough but that's fine that's the look I'm going for and also this the reason why I'm using such a big piece this is going to house what I'm going to try for a resonator so these will I'm going to have a row of tin cans that will be visible from the top and sticking out so there will be a row of these tin cans that I'm hoping will act as a resonator and at the very least, it hopefully it'll look unique, but I'm really hoping that it's going to make it sound sound unique also. So this will be just glued up and then clamped, and then I'll add screws also.
Okay, I wanted to show how I set up the um, bridge to get the uh, correct string um, spacing on the neck and just to make sure everything looks good. So what I do is I temp I well I usually put both outside strings on. In this case, I just have the one on for right now just to show. But I have the nut which uh, is a bolt, three eighths bolt, and it needs to be lowered, um, or I need to. Uh, put maybe a 5 16 bolt in there, but anyway, that's not the point I'm trying to make. Um, so, uh, this is not probably the right way to do this, but for me, I'm not very good at setting things up with measuring tapes and squares and stuff like that. I usually just set things up by eye. So, what I did first was put the string on here, and I kind of got it in the neighborhood of where I wanted it. And then I, this is not the screw that's going to be used to hold it down, but I just put one screw in there temporarily. So then this particular, what I'm using for a bridge, um, has two screw holes. So I, I'm able to move this around like this a bit. And when I get it, what that does, even with, like with small movements, it, it aligns the string on the neck. So once I get it into where I think it should be, then I'll come back over here and um, set the uh, set the other screw in here permanently and then take this one out and put put the permanent one in there and then it should be good and as far as the bridges go um, I'm still I have a lot of options that I can use but um, I have this harmonica which actually isn't that old and but whatever I want to use I want it to look old and I, I don't want it to cover that much of this logo so I'll see I mean this might work but I'm not sure yet so here's the uh, shipping label what's left of it um, there's a few stamped on top of each other and um, the top one says Mrs. C.W. Evans 521 Pacific Avenue Atlantic City, New Jersey, and it looks like it says collect on it down there. And then underneath, I would just peel this back a little bit. I haven't tried to steam this off or anything yet because I thought it might ruin the ink. But it looks like it says from, it looks like it says same. I'm not sure if that says same. And then it says 122 East 78th Street, New York City. At least that's what I see. I'm not sure. So, yeah, if anyone can help with that, to research that, um, th I'd be really happy with that, just for curiosity's sake. But if not, um, I will see if I can get some help in the library when it opens up. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.